I don't think hell exists. I happen to believe in life after death, but I don't think it's got a thing to do with reward and punishment. Religion is always in the control business. Uh, and that's something people don't really understand. It's, it's in the guilt-producing control business. And if you have heaven as a place where you're rewarded for your goodness and hell as a place where you're punished for your evil, then you sort of have control of the population. And so they create this fiery place, which has quite literally scared the hell out of a lot of people throughout Christian history. Mm -hmm. And it's part of a control tactic. But wait a minute, you're saying that hell, the idea of a place under the earth or somewhere where you're tormented for an eternity, is actually an invention oh, of yes. the church? I think the church fired its furnaces hotter than anybody else. <clears throat> but I think there's a sense in most religious life of, of reward and punishment in some form. The church doesn't like for people to grow up because you can't control grown-ups. That's why we talk about being born again. When you're born again, you're still a child. The people don't need to be born again. They need to grow up. They need to accept their responsibility for themselves and the world. What do you make of the theology, which uh, is pretty quite prominent these days in America, which is that there is one guaranteed way not to go to hell, and that is to accept Jesus as your personal Savior? Yeah, I grew up in that tradition. Uh, every church I know claims that we are the true church they, and they have some ultimate authority we have the infallible Pope we have the inerrant Bible the idea that the truth of God can be bound in any human system by any human creed by any human book is almost beyond imagination for me I mean God is not a Christian God is not a Jew or a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddhist all of those are human systems which human beings have created to try to help us walk into the mystery of God. I honor my tradition. I walk through my tradition. But I don't believe my tradition defines God. I think it only points me to God. You and I are emerging people, not fallen people. Our problem is not that we are born in sin. Our problem is we do not yet know how to achieve being fully human. The function of the Christ is not to rescue the sinners, but to empower you and to call you to be more deeply and fully human than you've ever realized there was the potential within you to be. Maybe salvation needs to be conveyed in terms of enhancing your humanity rather than rescuing you from it. Life is a startling and wondrous experience. And eventually, I think we're going to discover that God is unfolding through the life of our consciousness and our self-consciousness and is not a parent figure up in the sky. But I believe because I'm related to something that is not bound by time and space that I will share in whatever God's eternity is.